And I, I think it's important to tell your lawmakers that we need a climate security law that cuts carbon emissions uh, very deeply. We need to get, uh, I actually think the numbers, even in our president's uh, uh, report that we put out that David referred to earlier, are probably not fast enough uh, based on the new science. But I, I would suggest that we, we uh, dig deep. The, the Green Group has actually endorsed a 3.5% a year reduction which is a starting point. I don't even think that's enough if you look at the real numbers. But, but the, the point is we need to urge our lawmakers to support the, the climate legislation that's moving, will be moving uh, in the House soon, will be moving in the Senate later in the year. I think it's important that we also fund adaptation for the reasons that uh, David was talking about. We cannot uh, avoid a climate uh, change in our natural world. We're already committed to a certain amount of change. And that change is going to bear down hard on nature. And so we need to fund mechanisms to move wildlife in some cases, to uh, create corridors, to uh, help adapt uh, coastal areas for uh, greater storm surges, to do a number of things that we're just even figuring out. We're literally reinventing fish and wildlife conservation. The Climate Security Act, in my mind, needs to be comprehensive, it needs to be bold, and we need to do it now. It's no longer acceptable to put it off yet another year. This is the year. This is the year that Barack Obama will have more horsepower than he'll have during the rest of his presidency. This is the year that the new Congress will have more horsepower. This is the time when America says we want change, and we need to deliver on that change this year. And if we fail to do it, it's our failure to make the right choices and to demand the right kind of changes in our country.